serve as president of the North Branch NAACP. The Anderson administration is now in history, but the destruction of North communities is left behind. Let's examine her appointed replacement. Former Commissioner Christopher Sir has been tapped to replace her. Sir, who had business interests in the Edison School, a for-profit educational management organization that ultimately failed even though he got paid. Sir, who created the consulting firm Global Education Advisors to overhaul North Public Schools and hired by former Mayor Cory Booker. And Chris Surf got paid. Chris Surf, who has business ties with Amplify, the technology company, who now has a contract for $2.3 million with the North Public Schools and is still being listed at the board meeting for more contracts, more money. Sir, who orchestrated much of what Anderson implemented and who protected her from the community, from elected officials, the New Jersey State Board of Education, and from any close scrutiny of her actions. This is the governor's answer. The governor, who has not held one town meeting in York to address the citizens in his six years of office. The governor, who has stated he doesn't care what the people of York think because he is the decider. The governor, who has used taxpayer dollars to canvass the country for his personal bid to become president. The governor, who appointed Sir as commissioner in 2010, sanctioned Anderson as superintendent in 2011, and now in 2015, plans to appoint Sir again with a three-year contract and bonuses. Now, as Anderson departs, the governor, via Commissioner Hesby, has decided to complete the destruction by sending the architect of this destructive plan. How dare the governor think this point will boost his falling rating as a leader? He removes Anderson, replaced with Sir, and then dangles the return to local control as the pacifier. He wants to be the leader of the leading free world, but strips the rights of North citizens. The ultimate destruction will be completed by Surf, and then North will be going back to local control with a non-existent school district. Our community has been under siege and occupation, and we have solutions to free us from the governor's tyranny that will be in the best interest of the children, their families, and the citizens of North. The North NAACP calls for, one, return the North Public Schools District to local control, two, calls for the North Board of Education, along with community input, to select both the next interim and or contracted superintendent, right. yes. and three, commit to establishing community schools yes. as a solution being offered by the mayor and the Alliance for North Public Schools as a beginning to restoring our communities with an anchor school in a community. The leadership of the North NAACP says a resounding no to Chris Surf. The leadership of the North NAACP calls for a return to democratic local control of North, the largest district in the state of New Jersey. North is not a prison colony. North is not a South African bad two stand. It is a large metropolitan city in America, the largest city in New Jersey. We are entitled to the inalienable rights guaranteed of all American citizens because we too sing America.